Hello folks, welcome back to the Vertigo Tea Party and let's play Hellblade. Go ahead and progress here. I think we listened to the thing. Pretty sure we did. Valraven, oh. ancestor of the seers and master of ravens. He hunts his prey with his powers of illusion and feasts on their remains. Ooh. Follow the path to Valraven and defeat him in battle to earn his mark. The gate to Helheim cannot be opened without it. All right, let's head to the next guy whose name I've already forgotten. Look, it's hard enough for me to remember names when they're like normal, quote unquote, normal Americanized names. When they're anything but, I struggle even, even more. Damn this memory. Damn it all to hell. Oh, there's a little area. Looks the thing it's on is a little different too. Emir was a frost giant, a being of darkness, and all his sons and grandsons were dark after him. Of his daughters and granddaughters, some were monstrous, but others fair. But there was another who came from the ice, Buri. In shape, he was like a man, big and powerful. His son, Bor, took a fair giant to be his wife, and they had three sons. Odin was the eldest, and the Northmen hold him to be the foremost of the gods, the Old Father. Again, I don't want to go too far, because like right here looks like it might have kicked off some more dialogue. I do not want to miss that. Hopefully you guys enjoying still. I know I am. I was actually looking forward to picking this up again today. Sorry I missed a day on getting an upload, upload done. Yesterday I just felt like total crap. And had passed out shortly after I got home. So sorry about that. But from, from here on out should be every day. We should do one video. Illusion hides the path to Valraven. Don't trust your eyes. Find another way to see the truth. Hmm. All right, looks like we're going to need to push that bridge down, most likely. I don't know why I look around. Really, the only things I found that, that you could possibly miss that aren't necessary are those stones that give you a little backstory on the lore. Lore. Lore is one of those words I struggle with. I don't know why. I always say it kind of weird. What's that? It's a wall. It's a door. No, it's a bridge. Well, she did that very simple thing. Come on, we've done a lot more complicated things than that. Look, look, look. Something's different. Something's changed. Different. Can you see it? You can't see it. She can't see it. Yeah, shut up. I'm, I can't see it if you guys don't stop chattering in my head. Look how much it's changed. Wait. Back to the bridge? I thought maybe like the bridge would have changed. That'd have been pretty cool, actually. Like it was back up or something like that. Maybe check the path, because she said, I "Oh, oh, the door did open." Okay, so did I have to walk through that? We all want to see behind the veil, don't we? But once we do. We mostly just close our eyes again and pretend what we saw was never really there. I keep expecting stuff to change. So yeah, I don't know if I actually had to walk through the portal, I just kind of did. But the, I think the voice just started to say, like, oh, look how it's changed shortly after I did. I'm also curious if there's other stuff we've missed from not zooming in all the time. I'm not going to, just because one, it would probably take forever, and two... It'd be hard to, like, move it around, especially while zoomed in and not get everybody motion sickness, and I don't want that, so... I want you to enjoy the experience. Has anyone ever could close her eyes? However hard she tried. Impact. Must be... Maybe some enemies here.
They're telling me to... Go to the door again. I thought I looked at it. There's kind of a... I can't tell if that's shadow or some kind of... Oh wait, can I just open the damn door? God damn it! I was so expecting a puzzle. The puzzle was that there was no puzzle. This is the price she pays for seeing things differently. Because once you gaze into the relentless darkness, all that lurks within it can see you too. Uh, yep, definitely a fight here. She keeps looking over here. Doesn't she? I mean, there's tons of bodies. I mean, that's... At this point, that's fairly common. Hold on a second. She was, like, looking around over here. I just want to see what it was. See? Is it? No, because usually if she if there's something for her to look at, I noticed when I was messing around before I started. Like even if like when you move the camera, she kind of moves her head to compensate. Like so, not even if you're moving her. Yep. So one thing somebody mentioned in comments, and I actually noticed this also while I was doing my editing. Damn it. No, he just got one hit. Relax. Eat it. Nerd. Damn it. Oh, you son of a bitch. No, that's way too much. You're gonna die now. Well, sooner than you... Ooh, what the fuck? Alright. I've been too nice to you guys. Way too nice. Way too nice. Playing around. We ain't playing no more. Uh, mother... Alright. Getting a little too confident in ourselves here, I guess. Whoa! Oh, that's right. That's right. These guys don't uh, stagger easily. Come on. Trying to hurt this guy enough that he fucks off. Well, obviously, or kill him. But yeah, anyway, somebody mentioned in comments, I think it was uh, actually Sarkron, but I, I did, for what's worth, notice in post, like that little, um, like that belt around my bottom right there by where the sword is, that shows you how many slowdowns we have. Ah. I mean, like them strong hits, son. Ooh, apparently he didn't like them very much. Ooh. I'm gonna have to get into a better position here. I'm actually trying not to use the slowdown because I find it more interesting not to. Because I feel like it'd be a little bit too easy with it. I love how their attacks, like, go underneath her. Ooh, little, like, a, just a touch. Motherfucker. Alright, mud over your shit. Over your shit. In the back, son. I'm about to clean this guy's clock, don't worry. Motherfucker! You thinking? Gotta get that little, like, little run attack in there. I don't think it's wise when there's two of them, though. 
The other guy's too slow, he won't catch it. Oh, I know that. Oh, what's the matter, buddy? Can't catch up? That's a shame. Oh, he's too slow. I well, said so the combat is very simplistic, but it's also like really satisfying. Will not stop her. She will find what she's looking for. Well, if it was that pile of corpses, then we definitely would have found it. But yeah, I try not to use the slowdown too much because, like I said, I feel like it makes it a little too too easy. I'll use it against bosses just so we don't have to. If that first boss was any any sign, these bosses are gonna have a ton of hit points. Every time I see that, I think like Lord of the Rings or TNT. Valravan's power of illusion comes from ravens, allowing the ravens to break his magic seal. Show me what you have seen, Truth. Align the ravens? What? I mean, I see them in the background. Unless that's supposed to be ravens? I feel like I need to be up? Maybe? No, I don't... Barely sure I can't get up there. No. You can't crawl that high. You can do some good fighting, but not so much on the uh, crawling thing. We get that one. Seal. Yeah, I know. The ravens with the mark of Valraven. Uh, oh, I think they just mean period. So if I do this. Oh, oh, wait a minute. It means these dead ones? No, those are just feathers. If I don't get it here in a second, I'll go offline again. I don't get what he means, align the ravens with the mark. So we just have to get the mark itself done? But like that? Even getting that to line up is not going to work. We can't get up there. And when we go too far, we can't see because it's blocked. Was there other ravens somewhere, maybe? On this side? No. See, like, it actually gets a l well, slightly more marked here. Let me, let me mess with it. Alright, so I walked through this little portal thing, and the first time, nothing seemed to be different. Now this is open. I don't think this was open before. I don't think. Whoa. Fire's got a freaky-ass to it. Um, yeah, okay, so yeah, now this is the way you're supposed to go out. Alright, so this area is going to be a lot of, uh... Actually, wait, I want to go to that torch. Why is it so freaky? Is it just because we're in the illusion? I mean, if I could line those up, something would happen? Put your face in the fire. See, ha see what happens. What do you see in the flames? Melisandre? Ah, nothing, apparently. With a rope, I don't know if that's important. Yeah, because I was thinking, oh, I think we need to go up here. But then I was like, no, I don't think so. But obviously we were. Focus. I don't know if that was really lining them up with the crows. I think there was something with some feathers down there. No, I can't. But I'm sure we'll see it. Unless they're just talking about the door, but I kind of feel like they're not. So I wonder if you go through the door again. Like this again? I don't know. I swear I looked over there, but I guess maybe I didn't. I don't know. I feel like that door was there for a reason. I feel like that's what opened that up. Do you feel it too? It's like crossing into another world that looks the same, but feels... 
an imposter world, where the forest itself is watching. Tree ants will watch you pee in the forest here. Let's go over here. Oh, actually, we'll probably want to go to the door. It's. I think now that they've kind of shown us, okay, this... I know, it is another gate. You know what to do. Oh, I know. I've learned. It's not safe to break the seal. Align the ravens with the mark of Valraven. Valraven. Feel like... Oh yeah, it looks like we need to probably be up there. Can we climb... Okay. Look! I saw... I didn't see the ravens last time. Ladies. All right, so I want to go up here before we try that gateway. I want to see what happens. I bet we can't, like, we can't get up here, or yeah, we can't get up there. Don't give her the answer. We want her to see her, see her puzzle it out herself. If you hear the song of Van Raven, follow it, and it will lead you to him. But be aware of his illusions. You can't always trust your eyes. Ah, uh, see, there's a pathway there. They were saying focus here. I don't know why. The torches are made a more like a low mumble. Yo, bitch! Let's do this thing, you little bitch! Come on. Show you how we do da things downtown and. Drog Gwenarvan. Fine. Run like a little coward. See why you use the illusions. You can't afraid to afraid to fight a warrior. Okay, so we have another door to go through here. Again, I'm just kind of poking around. Again, that's that's not a song, guys. That's that's a humming. Cool noise though. Noise, we'll call it a noise. I feel like we've missed at least one of those things. Uh, hey, there he is. Are you gonna guess? You're gonna disappear again? Lord of running away like a little bitch? That's what you're really the lord of. You're stupid. You're stupid. Asshole. Last winter, before the tragedy, she journeyed into the wilds of her native land, living off of berries, roots, and rabbits. It's not uncommon, you see. We call such a person a gout. Some, like truth, become guilt in search of penance. Others, like cinema, the purge curse. Those who make it back are forever changed. Just open in my shortcuts in case I die at the respawn the bonfire. Come on, up the stairs. All right. I know you primitive person, but I see his ass. He's just gonna disappear. He's just gonna run away again. All right, there's got to be a reason. This is over here. Well, I guess it technically doesn't. All right, I'll come over there. You can hide. I yes, thanks, ladies. I see him. Look, it's not my fault he's running away. Look, I'd like to see you do better. You guys want to drive? Do you guys want to drive? She can get up now. She can get up now. What's happening? She can get up now. She can shoot. Uh, it must be magic. Dark magic. A trick. Or like an illusion, would you say? How can she get up? Bait. It's him. Dark magic draws her closer. It's not him. He's helping her. It's not him. It's a trick. She's doing it on her own. He's not tricking her. It's magic. It's an illusion. Could you guys at least agree on something before you start whispering crazy shit in my head? 
at least get on the same damn page. All right, let's go up here. We're gonna try to get the boss fight into this video. So, it's interesting. This this section is less about actually putting the puzzle together and more doing the things that you need to do to get the puzzle together or put the the pieces together. I can't even imagine what it would be like to to have you know some kind of a, se a serious. Oh, is it called illness? I think yeah, yeah. Psychosis would be an illness, I'd imagine. I can't even imagine having it so like you just like hear voices whispering, especially if it was. And we think of a shadow in the woods, a creature in the night. If only it were that simple. Yeah, I'm trying not to. I want to try. I want to try both of these things. Okay. Yeah, it probably be some enemies. Anyway, I was trying to say that I was trying not to move the camera around too quickly. So if you see me running oddly or doing weird things with the camera, that's me trying to make it slowly move around. That you guys aren't uh, wanting to puke yourselves. Well, this is a really weird visual effect here. I don't know. All right, again, I want to focus on the easier one first. You can get mad. Come on, don't get mad. Get over here. I'm killing your much easier to kill friend here, if you don't mind. Finish this. End it now. You want to watch another one of your friends die? Sending them, sending them to get your ass whooped on, Hala? I'll hurt you a little bit, so you know what he feels. I want you to know what he feels. I'm trying to get over here. There we go. Look at this. You guys probably train together. Grew up together. Talked about going to war. Helped each other in tough times. Too bad. All right, the slow guy over here. I'm not weak. I haven't got hit yet. I don't think. I don't know. Thought you had me on that second swing, didn't you, ass? I know, I know. I wanted this to be close up. I want him to see. And you still want some of this. Maybe we could parlay. You think so? Maybe we could come to an agreement. He's not that fast. Oh, you like them apples? Alright, hold on. I wanna try something. Oh, you like that? Running kick. My shield ain't helping you too much. Mm. You're just shaming your family, that's fine. No big deal. Hmm. Oh. Have you guys not seen me whooping their ass? I mean, I understand you're like trying to keep my attitude in check. I know he's there. I know he's there. I don't even care. Ooh, closer than I thought. This should move us far enough away. Nope. Almost. 
Oh, whoa! I think I got a little too close to the uh, wall there. Oh, you guys are teaming up trying to help each other? He's using like a body shield though. That seems a little rude. Here. You seem really eager to get some of what he's gotten. You're like, I'm not gonna let a woman beat me up. Boom! And then you get your ass whooped. Mmm. Damn it. That's not who I meant to do that to. Mother. About over y'all's crap. Oh, mother. A little too close. Uh, I care. Jesus cares. Y'all really need to work on... I don't know, go to some class or something. Y'all not good managers. Just nothing but negative. You get a lot more, uh... Get more flies out of honey than you do out of vinegar, ladies. Come on. Let's play the recording. Men say that Odin and his brothers killed Ymir, and that the world of man was formed from his corpse. They made his bones into stones, and his flesh into earth, and his blood into the salt sea. They set his skull to be the bowl of the sky, with his brains for clouds. Odin and his brothers caught the sparks flying from Muspel and made them into stars. And to protect the new world from the giants, they used Ymir's great curving eyebrows as walls. <laughs> they always said I had big eyebrows growing up, but now they're walls. Who's got the last laugh now? I'm like the Celtic Norse version of Rudolph, the Rando's, Red Nosed Reindeer. Making fun of my nose. I know what it's like to leave everything behind. Your home, loved ones. To head deep into the wilds, perhaps never to return. Senua does. Because when darkness speaks, it changes everything. Turning home into a foreign land and loved ones into strangers. Exile makes sense when you realize that you were never really home in the first place. Hmm. This is a fairly big area. But can I... I'm gonna assume I'm gonna have to... Oh, okay. Never mind. I thought this was a big pit that I couldn't cross without a bridge. Shut up. Making pretty steady progress. Oh. Holy cow. Hmm, so there's two portals. So, I don't want to go through that one just yet. I probably will in a second. I don't know if those are the only two we're supposed to go into. Like, maybe we're only supposed to go into the correct ones, but... She went to the wilds a long time ago. Why did she go to the wilds? She wanted to fight her own darkness. <laughs> she thought she could beat her own darkness. Did she beat her darkness? No. <laughs> it nearly killed her, but she tried. Druth. Druth helped her. If it wasn't for Druth, she'd, she'd be, be dead. dead. She can't beat her own darkness. Sorry, she I was listening to them be super you. bitchy. Her curse would affect him. She thought her curse would spread to him. She thought she'd bring the darkness to him too. She, she nearly died. She thought the curse made her tainted. Druth helped her. So I'm wondering if this curse is. 
At least I tried. You guys are just standing around telling me what to do. I actually putting forth an effort. How do you guys think that's hilarious? I like these, uh, these things, whatever that is, uh, these skeletons with the, well, skeletons on the heads. They look pretty cool. Like, when you first see one, even though you know it's probably fake, you're like, oh shit, there's an enemy. And it never is. One of these days, one of them's gonna, like, come to life when we get close to it. Again, just open up a shortcut door. Always open your shortcut doors first, everybody. You know that. You don't want to lose your souls. All right, where was that? There was a gap. We crawl in. If it was over here, yes. Let's go through the gap. This is definitely one of those games where, like, sometimes I'm just getting quiet. Not just to listen to the... The, uh... The voices, but just to kind of get into the game. If, if you will. Of men say you must sacrifice in order to receive. They tell how the runes were revealed to Odin only in sacrifice. He hung himself from the world tree, and he stabbed himself with a spear, and he dedicated a sacrifice to himself. Uh... For nine nights he hung on the tree without food or drink. And at last, he saw the runes below him. He gave a cry, and gathered them in his mind, and learnt them. Then he fell from the tree. I'm gonna sacrifice my wife and kids for everlasting life of sitting on the couch and watching Netflix. I feel like that's not much of a sacrifice. I feel like kind of... ...defeating the purpose? Oh, hmm, shit. I'm not even hearing the... The music? I, I think I can hear something slightly. I'm almost positive we have to get through there, but... There's stairs. Yeah, let's, let's go back down. I don't think we can get over there. We have to check that uh, the other portal. But I would think we were probably supposed to come here first, because it showed us this one first. But maybe there's another portal that I haven't, haven't seen that I need to walk through. Or it could just be this path over here. I don't think... No, yeah, I can't get up there. Yeah, that's what we need to get up. Alright, let's head this way. And I'll see if I can hear anything. Like I said, I haven't... I, I hear a very slight droning in the background, but I really don't think that's what we're, we're looking for. I don't think these are portals. They are kind of glowing, though. Like, they have that weird kind of glow. I don't think that's the sun hitting them. Not a lot of sunlight here. I hope this isn't one of those puzzles where you have to, like, go through the doors in the correct order to open the right paths. That could be a little weird. I do like how subtle the changes are. Like, you don't really see them pop up in front of you. You have to, like, look. Or look around and, like, look for it. And if you have a bad memory, like me, and can't remember... Like, failed at those little uh, puzzles where you gotta look at two different pictures, or look at one picture, and then look at the second and find all the stuff that's missing. There's another door. Yeah, see, again, I saw that. I was like, oh shit, it's time to kick some ass. But, unfortunately, no. One of these things, I'm telling you, is gonna get up. I wish I could interact with it, push it down. Sure this guy ain't scared. I ain't scared of shit. I'm a warrior, damn it. Somebody in the comments also mentioned that this game mixes up Celtic lore with like uh, Nordic lore. I honestly don't know the difference, so I am ignorant in that regard. I'm afraid. I mean, again, I've heard of all. You know, I've, I've heard these names: Odin and and uh, Valhalla. I don't mean, think that's probably something different. Anyway, you get my point. I've heard of a lot of this. But I haven't, I'm not, like, familiar with it. And somebody brought up, uh, like, in response to that comment, said that maybe... Like, maybe she is from the one culture, and her journey sent her to the place with uh, the other culture, which I don't know which is which, again, sorry. Hmm, this is coming up. See that come up for a second? I don't think we're ready to do it yet, though. There has to be a reason that those two portals were highlighted. It's gotta be.
See, it's... Eh. I was gonna say, I, see, I thought it was kind of putting it together, but no. There's no way those match up. I'm thinking maybe that opened up something over here? That portal we just went through? Yeah, I don't remember going this way before. Aha! No giving in. She remembered Dillian's words. She remembered her promise. She resolved to fight on and kill that which had become a part of her. But yeah, I, I don't think I get to finish the thought earlier, but I was wondering if that this curse that she's that they were referencing is the actual the psychosis. Or is that like the psychosis a side effect of the curse? I'm trying to find the other damn one. I thought it was over here. I don't want to keep twisting the camera around Let's across this. I'm gonna look. No, oh, okay. Yeah, I don't think crossing through the the portals multiple times does anything, as far as I can tell. Unless that portal I just went through was the left one. Maybe that's the case. I was thinking that was the right one. I've gotten all... boogered up here. Uh, let's go across here and put down that bridge too. Make it easy to get back and forth. Or... through back and forth. You know what I mean. Shut up. Well, I guess we can't go over there. Damn it. Oh wait, we can go down here and around I bet. Let's try. I don't think we've been down here. I can do a step up slightly. Now I want to go up the path. Ah, oh, fine. We'll do that. Yeah, I don't call if we've been down here. There's the bridge that we can put down. That one looks particularly evil. Again, I don't think that's an actual portal, but I'm going to run through it anyway. It's interesting, like, it makes it even more like, whoa, wait a minute. Wasn't that just open? Or am I crazy? Either it wasn't open, or that closed it. All right, so now we're just kind of running around. So let me uh, let me dig into this one. Actually, here's another one of these. It's like right where I was that I missed. The Northmen say that Odin is always in search of knowledge and wisdom and magic. There was a very wise being named Mimir who guarded the waters of wisdom which flow from the roots of the world tree. Odin wished to drink from this spring, but he had to pay a price. So. He gouged out his own eye as offering to Midir. He drank from the well and traded one way of seeing for another. Hmm. All right. Well, let me uh, let me dig around. I feel like we did these horribly out of order. I got lucky on the one because now I can't get back to the the one that we could do. So let me uh, let me go back around here. And see if I can't figure out how to get there. Alright, I think that'll do it. So yeah, it does look like when you walk through one portal, it can like undo the stuff of another one. Because like there's a bridge over here. Well, sometimes there's a bridge over here. Depending on when you go through what portals. It's, it's hard to explain because I don't fully understand it myself, honestly. Yeah, see, before it was all down. Very interesting. I really like the way it does that, where, like, it it disappears and reappears when something gets in front of it, like a tree. That's a really neat effect. Like, it's really trippy. 
So this should do it, so we can now solve the puzzle. Y'all had this conversation before. Looking back, I was so naive to think she could banish it on her own. The further she saw into the darkness, the more she struggled to see anything at all. And the glow, the smallest hints of shape, sound, or thought, grew in strength until they consumed her whole. Before she knew it, the darkness had her in its claws. Damn, need another bridge to get back over there because there's two of the three. The third one's got to be. Right? No? Let's go over there. We probably have to do a little bit more door trickery, I think. But there's another bridge over there, too, that we can push down. Which we actually might have been able to do that before. That might not have been actually necessary. I don't want to go through any other up portals yet. I guess we have to. Because I've noticed before, like, looking through the portal, I think you might can see what's different. Again, I haven't, I haven't found exact consistency on that one. We need to go back and see which portal opens that. Damn it, I think we could have got over to that bridge and opened it. Because I think we're going to have... Well, we almost certainly going to have to get over there. Yeah, because there's all three. And if we get down there, we should be able to see it, no problem. The question is, we got to get that bridge back. It's a bridge to somewhere, at least. Yeah, see? So when you do this, like, oh, there's the wall, but if I walk through this portal, it takes that away. But it's so far away, I can't really see if it's going to open that bridge. Go down here. A very trippy mechanic, I like it. And I, the, the point of the bridges, I think, are to save you from, like, cutting yourself off so that you don't have to go, like, a really long way around. And I don't know if there's, like, a certain order you're supposed to go in. Yeah, and see, this is not showing that as being opened up now. Oh, that only shows up. That's weird. I wonder what that's about. Alright, so I don't think that's it. I kind of wish you could run a little bit faster. Especially in this puzzle, since this one's a lot of running around. Because there's... This is the third... Like, this is the last one. This is the one where the bridge was. Yeah, see? So we go through, and now it's gone. But you can't reverse it, as far as I can tell? No, okay. At that time, it... Huh. I swear I've tried it, and it did, did not work before. Whatever. Anyway. So maybe these portals don't have any effect on each other? If that's the case, then how in the hell did I get over there in the first place? I love the little side trot she does. If this doesn't do it, then I will uh, I'll stop recording and go figure her out. Yeah, we weird. I'm... Huh. I don't know how I screwed myself. Alright. Let me... Wait a minute. Is, it, is this it? Oh, damn it. I knew this is where I did this, but I thought, never mind. Son of a bitch. Sorry. Sorry. Ah. Alright, so where am I going? Over here. needs to be up top, right? Yeah. There we go. It's all coming together. Oh. There we go. I know. See, look, you guys can be positive. When it comes to the darkness. Biding 
its time. Only when she is at her weakest will it strike to kill. Will she find Dillian before her time comes? The other thing is I'm wondering who is it the one that's supposedly telling the story? Like, is this yet another voice in her head? I thought maybe like it's her daughter is, is like retelling this tale. Like her and her husband Dillian or boyfriend or whatever he was got together, had a kid and like the story was passed down to her and now she's telling us the story. Because I think that culture, I think, was big on like passing down stories and knowledge and all this. I get I could be totally making that out of my ass. Whoa. I saw it for a second. I didn't see what it was trying to get us to look at. Alright. Activator. Overcome Valraven's final illusion to face him in his keep. I know you can do it, Senua. You have the sight. We both see the darkness. We can fight it together. Now, at least there's one positive voice banging on around in my head. But I do like that the game like really... And again, I don't suffer from the affliction, obviously, or else I would speak from authority with it. Uh, nor am I familiar with it, you know, in depth, other than, you know, what... What, uh, what someone has mentioned to me. They said that it was uh, similar. They said that they had a, like... Like, it wasn't as extreme as what she has, uh, but they've heard, like, voices and things like that. So they said it's actually a fairly accurate representation, which is uh, cool to hear that they they did actually research it and tried to, tried to, you know, give it its due respect, I guess you Speak could say. Speak to but. me, Drew. Tell me a story. Senua, listen. I will tell you the tale of a man called Finden. The Northmen captured Findon's sister, and his father sent him to pay for her release. But they took his gold, put him in chains, and held him for a day and a night without food or water. Then they released him. I don't know why. Upon his return, his father's enemies in Erin set fire to his home. His father burnt to death, and his brother was killed. But he escaped with sorrow in his heart. His father's enemies offered redress for his loss and invited him to a feast that was at a hall near the sea. But when he went there, they betrayed him to the Northmen, who enslaved him and took him to hell. Six years later, his slave masters landed on the shores of Orkney, burning all before them. And into that fire, Findon made his escape. What was Finden burnt away that day? But from the flames, a new man stepped forward, and Druth was born. Druth, the man that I am now. And though Finden never set eyes on his dear sister again, I, Druth, I've found you, Senua. I wish you could have seen my home before these dark times. I'm trying to kind of do the thing where I can see what changed. Because I think that path is what opened up from this last time. Oh shit. I didn't know there was a wooden beam there. I'm so observant. The universe, I, I still, like, I'm really interested how this whole, like, it, it just is a thing to see. I find it funny how all this kind of, this thing with, like, the white splash on a surface means that you can crawl up there or climb down there. Like, I think Uncharted was one of the first games that did that. I think. And it's just kind of become a, a universal thing. Alright, so let's go over here and go up again. Oh, I think I bet this path changed. Yeah, it looks like it's going more towards the nest. No, or not. 
Well. I can't use the site up here. But I'm thinking we've got to get... Like, in that nest. And I don't think... I mean, let me double check this real quick. And that's where we just came from. Oh wait, maybe, um... Well, like I said, I don't think going through it again actually does anything. You have this bridge open now. There's gotta be a reason for that bridge to have been there. We can't call on this limb, can we? Ah, shit. We sure can. Right after saying that thing about splattering the paint on objects you can walk on or climb up. Uh, something's gonna happen. Oh, shit. Where it might be better to just, like, crawl. Easy. Easy does it. Ignore that cracking sound, it's fine. Oh, that's nice. Is that a dead body in there? Oh, nope. I'm just seeing dead bodies everywhere. But to be fair, half the time I'm seeing dead bodies is because there's dead bodies. About to get some bird, bitch. You're gonna wish you would've kept running. Come on. Ooh. He doesn't seem to be anticipating too well right now. He's getting his ass stomped on. That's all he's really doing. Yeah, screaming ain't gonna do you no good. Scream when you're dying. Which should be soon. Damn it. Not a very good trick. I've seen that one before, baby. I've seen it before. Damn it, how he's actually just trying to uh, parry his ass. I didn't actually mean to slow time. Where'd he go? Where'd he go? Oh, are you sending your boys? Really? You gotta send your boys to do your job? Wow, first you run away all the time. Now you gotta run away and send your little weaklings to try to take me out. You're like a god, supposedly, I thought. Mother. I dodged that. Mm. 
All right, assholes. Damn it. I keep hitting the wrong damn button to block. Damn you, Dark Souls. Actually, I don't even know if that's Dark Souls block button. You trying to retreat now? A little too late. That was the unblockable attacker I would have. I love that little run forward attack. That messes him up pretty bad. Come on. You gonna you gonna hang out and fight, or are you gonna run away again? Ah, eh, god damn it! Damn it! Ah, you little bitch! Motherfucker! Pissing me off now. Gonna have to go easy on the uh, heavy attacks. Whoa, shit. You're getting fancy now. Motherfucker. Ah, uh, I gotta stop doing that because now he's got that little attack. Probably should hide a little bit better. Come on. God damn it, that one's a pain in the ass to dodge. Fuck off. Look at that shit. Come on. Bird brain looking motherfucker. Ah, you gotta stop that. Again, he won't. Because I'm trying to get to him. Oh. Gotta run out of the corner. What the hell? Can you just not block or dodge those? Ah, uh, come on. I'm gonna try to block next time he comes in. Thinking he's got a big one. Ah, uh, nope, can't block that one apparently. Good to know. So the overhead we cannot block. Nope. Come on. Oh, now you parrying? You parrying? Is that what that's supposed to be? Let's go ahead and slow time again. Whoop that ass a little bit. Well, you tell me that after, like he's done it. Oh, a little too fast for you. This guy takes a fucking beating. Yeah, he needs to die. All right. That guy took a little bit longer to materialize. The guy's like, "Hey, you uh, want to materialize a little faster there?" Come on. You want some of this shit? Alright, gotta be a little closer on that one. That one takes so long, it's hard to uh, justify. I'm not scared. I'm open his ass. Hard. I still don't quite understand. Oh shit, there's multiples. Well, I mean, obviously there's multiples. You know what I mean, shut up. But we have actually three of those things, though. Ooh, 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 easy boys. One at a time. Come on. There's plenty of ass kicking to go around. Believe me. Oh boy. That guy was like waiting for the perfect op. And he blew it. Get out. I'll send you ashes back to your mama. Oh, I'll leave him on the dresser with her five dollars. Alright, you motherfucker. I'm not over your shit. Thinking you're gonna come up at the last minute? I don't think so. I have no idea how the healing works, by the way. He's just getting his ass stomped on. Focus. 
Oh, I bet at this phase, like, we can't really attack him without being in focus, probably. Come on. Yeah, just stay- stand still. Nope. Like that, like a goddamn ballerina. Oh, shit. Nope, kind of it. So yeah, you guys are into that form, I guess. Mother- Stop running away, you little bitch! He is clearly not. It keeps flashing like I'm getting it back, but I do not have it back. Ooh, boy, that one's... Ah, I bet I could parry that one. I like to wait till he's near me, alright? I got the- I got a plan. I got a great plan. It's working pretty well, I'd say. See, that's the attack that I want to, like, follow up really quick. He's blocking a little bit quicker now. Nope. Damn! How much beating does this guy take? But over is bullshit. Ah, I tried to go just backwards, straight up. Ah, god damn it! That was a really slow secondary. I'm working on it, bitch. My god, die already. Holy shit. I never beat you in the wilds, did I? It was an illusion. But not this time. Run away from this, you little pansy. The mark of Valraven. One of the keys to the gate to Helheim. Hold it in your mind's eye. With every battle, the darkness grows stronger. Every victory bringing her closer to defeat. Unfair, isn't it? In those dark winter nights in the wilds, there were times when she considered letting go. If it weren't for Druth, a chance encounter in the wilds, she would not have heard his stories of the Northmen. And she would not have this chance to find Dillian's soul. I'm coming. I still hear you. Wait, yeah, Druth's not her boyfriend. Dillian, I think, is the boyfriend. Damn it! Get the names mixed up. Truth is the guy who was like telling her the like the the dude we found, the live action guy. I'd have been pissed if I'd have lost in that fight and had to do it all over again, like straight up. Like the fight is like fun. It it drags on a little bit too long, honestly. Uh, it definitely drags on a bit too longer than it should. Uh, but yeah, I've already forgot which one we we're going to. I think it's this one. It's higher up. It makes sense. But yeah, drug on a little bit longer. Yeah, if I'd have died, there, I'd have been super unhappy. So I think that's the door that opened. Yeah, that's the way we came back in. God damn it. Where's my quest indicator? Let's go this way, I guess. I'm pretty sure it may remember opening up to like the sunlight and all that happy, happy shit. All right, let's head back. Probably just gonna end up running by all the stuff. I vaguely remember this room. Hold on a second. When she was younger, she would lay in the grass and stare at the clouds. And there she saw them. Elusive. Shifting faces. After a while, she could see the faces everywhere. In the trees. The mountains. Caves. 
Yeah, sorry, I had to go back and check. Uh, there actually, it's like a big circle, I think. Well, it is a big circle. Basically, when it, you go through that door, if you go up those stairs, you come back to that uh, one puzzle where you had to run all over the place and run through the portals, like basically the next, the next to the last one, the hardest one. I wonder. Can you see the faces too? They're there. If you look for them, mother. Senua, you have the sight. Just like I do. Once you can see into the underworld, the underworld and all the souls within it will see you. Don't be afraid when they speak to you. I will always be here to guide you. Did you see her? That was her mother, Galina. She was a priestess, a healer. She taught Senua to see the weave that binds the world together. And it was beautiful. It was a time before the darkness. But when it did come, it first came for her mother. Senua still sees her face from time to time, hidden in the world. Like she's still watching over her. She misses her so much. Alright. Again, I couldn't tell, like, if this might be, uh... I, th I thought we actually might be back to the central hub area. But I didn't want to go in there yet. Wonder if we'll get a new enemy this time. Last time we went back, we got the Vi Viking Norse guys. I know I should know my history, blah blah blah. Well, I should know my lore slash history. But thing is, like, I'd love to read that kind of stuff, but my memory's so bad, it's like I would just forget ninety percent of it anyway. But I'm guessing we're going to get into a fight. With the mark of Valraven and the mark of Certus, you may cross the bridge over the River of Knives to Helheim. <laughs> Did it save? Hold on. Sorry, I gotta see, because I wanna I wanted to stop it here. I noticed it's kinda weird that this game has like specific lines that you cross while save. Like going through this archway will save. So if I go in and go out and then go back in again, it will save again. She did it. She did it. Damn it. Alright, well let's Let's go ahead and go in then. And there's no other way to save that I can that I can find. Um. Can I just open it? Oh. Open the gate. Open the gate. No, it's dangerous. It's dangerous. Don't open oh, the well, gate. Oh, well, make up your damn mind. Make up my mind. Uh oh. It's so dark. It's so dark. It's dark. The dark. Only the dead may cross. Only the dead may cross. Only the dead may cross. Dead may cross.
way to pull through. When you were in love, you left him in tears to smother your furies and banish your fears. But in darkness they came. Through stormy black seas they raided these shores. Do you still hear his screams? And now, at your home, he's so far away. They've taken his soul. gods you cannot pray. They can break you, but not your promise. Even death won't keep you apart. Through his darkness you will find him. In your sword still beats our heart. You fought for love unspoiled. By your darkness within. You fought for your dreams. Now there's no way to win. Of his corpse lies the seat of his soul. So you must carry his vessel to bring him back home. They can break you, but not your promise. Even death won't keep you apart. Through this darkness you will find him. In your sword still beats a heart. Hmm, right. they uh, did a number on him, it looks like. I was hoping they were going to do anything cheesy, like hide his body with your head or something. I'm glad they actually showed how brutally they Darkness killed him. Touched you. Everyone could see it in the hollows of your eyes. A gaze averted from life. You ran from it, but brought it nearer. Led it to him. An endless suffering, worse than death. And you wanted to surrender, abandoned to find peace with the gods. No. The darkness won't allow it. So you will walk into the lair of the beast. Look it in the eye. And you will go to war. This is your mission. This is your quest. There is nothing else left. Oh, we all right, ready to go to Helheim. So that'll be next video. Thank you guys for watching. Thanks again to you, Travesty, for your continued support on Patreon. I very much appreciate it. Make sure you guys follow me on Twitter. Leave comments. Let me know what you think of the series so far. Like the videos if you like them. It does help me out a bunch. And I'll see you next time.